Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Butayev actually lost his last bout, uh, but the decision was overturned when his opponent failed his drug test, so he remains officially unbeaten. He's only 27 years old, but again, 392 and 8 is his amateur record. Remarkable. Terry Chatwood, 36 years old. They're about the same size, same reach, 12 and 0 versus 9, 0 and 1. At welterweight, let's go to the ring and Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you and welcome to the Shrine Auditorium Expo Hall here in downtown Los Angeles as Premier Boxing Champions presents FS1 BBC Fight Night. And it's all brought to you by TGB Promotions, sponsored by GEICO. Introducing to you our three judges scoring this bout from ringside, we have Dr. Lou Moret, Alejandro Rochin, and Fernando Villarreal. All right, fans, here we go. Eight rounds of boxing in a battle of undefeated welterweights in the ring. Introducing you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing red trunks with silver trim, fighting out of Mariana by way of Little Rock, Arkansas. He weighed in at 148 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of nine wins, no losses. One draw with five wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Terry T. Cat Chatwood. His opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner in this eight round attraction wearing black trunks with red trim. Originally from Dagestan, Russia, now fighting out of Indio, California. He weighed in at 149 and one half pounds. He also is undefeated in his campaign. His record, 12 wins, no losses, nine big wins. Coming by way of knockout, here's the undefeated Radzab No Mercy Butayev. And our third man to the ring, the referee in charge of the action, Jerry Cantu. Gentlemen, mouthpiece, mouthpiece. Gentlemen, you are giving your instructions in the dressing room. I want a good, clean, hard fight. You will obey my commands at all times. The trunk's a little bit high, so right around here is legal. Okay. Touch your butt. Good luck to both of you. Rajab Butayev, Terry Chatwood, ready to go. Closed captioning is available for tonight's telecast. If you'd like to hear the broadcast in Spanish, you can click over to the simulcast on the Fox Deportes app as well. Butayev right there, again, 27 years old, sensational amateur career, looking to step up, going up against Terry Chatwood, who says, hey, look, he's not expecting much from me. And there he is, Joe Goosen. Uh, there's a guy 9-0-1, but, I mean, he's been in refrigeration, maintenance. He's built wind turbines. He's got four kids. He's working jobs. He's the opponent here facing the guy who has world-class aspirations. Yeah, and only 400 amateur fights. So, you know, I mean, you know, uh, listen, uh, Rajab is, is a very aggressive fighter. He's got a great left hook. He's a strong puncher. He'll go to the body really well. And Chatwood's got his work cut out for him. He's kind of a patient fighter. He uses a jab, and he's got a good right hand. So let's see if he can keep, uh, you know, uh, Butev on the outside tonight. Sean, you were an outstanding amateur. How many amateur wins did you have? Uh, I had about 250. This dude had right, which is an absurdly out. high number. Right, yeah. you are a blue chip, blue chipper, yeah. and this guy had 392 amateur wins. It's, it's amazing. Gonna, it's yeah, and it's going to show up immediately. I mean, you see it now, and just his patience in the ring, his his ability to play offense and defense right there, as as the other kids are up right there along the ropes. Yeah, he, he Chat would go into the body nicely uh, in there, but a hook lands. Uh, immediately from Butayev. Go ahead, Joe. Yeah, no, I was going to say, he, he landed a beautiful left hook about 10, 15 seconds ago. And that's his go-to punch, Bry. So keep an eye on that. You know, and, and, and Chatwood's got to keep that right hand up. I watch some tape on him, and he'll drop it every so often when he throws his own hook. But he's keeping it up nice right now. Chatwood doubling up on the hook there as Butayev comes in with the jab. Nice jab and a hook to the face. He jabbed to the body and then coming up top nicely. <laughs> You know, it's funny, we got used to crowds the last couple of weeks. Kind of quiet in there, okay. fellas. Again, we're separated. I'm, I'm on the East Coast. You're there in, in a quiet auditorium as we go back. Uh, an adjustment for the fighters, Sean, or is, are they just used to all conditions at this point? It, you know, I, I like to see Chadwick keep Butev on the outside a lot more. He's allowing Butev to get close. Keep him on the outside with your, with your jab and try to land that right hand. Uh, Butev is doing all the right things. I mean, he's pressuring this kid, keeping him right there in, in front of him, right there in front of him. And he's going to the body when he wants to, as well as the head. 
Yeah, he's closing the gap real well and he's an aggressive guy, and I think the pressure is just going to get hotter and hotter as the fight goes on. Yeah, I mean, Chad was an athlete. You can see that right off the bat. I mean, yeah. nine, nine wins and, and, and no losses, but not much of an amateur or a professional career. But he, he knows his way around the ring. He's, he's, he's an athlete. But can the athlete stand up to a guy with that much experience in Butte? I don't, I don't, I don't believe so. Chatwood a moment ago had a nice counter right to keep uh, Butayev at bay, at least to show him that he's going to face some fire if he comes in. Just can't walk straight into Chatwood. Well, providing Chatwood can keep up what he's doing right now, uh, right with there. the exception of that. You, you said his, he keeps his right hand low sometimes and then pulling straight back as well. That's it. Ten right, final seconds now. Hey, for those of you watching on FS2, switch over to FS1, and you can watch the remainder of FS1 PBC Fight Net. So jump over to FS1 if you're not with FS1 right now, and you get the rest of this fight. Rajab Putaya looking sharp in round one. Joe, we talk about experience all the time. People don't really understand what that means. Does it really matter? A one-two right here, and then he right here with his form, he's able to push Chatwood right up off of him, and that's experience. Exactly. I was thinking that's an underused tech, uh, tactic, yeah. uh, as a matter of fact. Underused? Well, it's an, it, Sean, it's an illegal tactic, though, right? It, no. No, not if, you, <laughs> not, if, not, if you, not if you can get away with it. Right, all right. No, no, but, but it, for, for a momentary yeah. just split second, you can yeah. use it. But if yeah. you sit there and really abuse that, well, here's they're the going to call it on you. You guys that, that understand range and distance, they understand that I threw the one, two, this guy's going to try to come into me, release my, my, my form right there, just to create that distance right. and keep, right. keep this, the range there, yeah. you know? Round number two, uh, once again, Rajab Butayev there in the black trunks, Terry Chatwood, 36 years old, out of Helena, Arkansas, in the red trunks. As we went to break, fellas, it was that we saw, and I didn't realize it at first, Butayev really had the forearm up at the chin of Chatwood. Maybe that's why it was well, in it, my mind that this was, guy's doing right. this a little bit much, right? It, it was a frozen shot, so it lasted a long time, Brian. That must have been it, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Heidi Andral now and more on uh, Terry Chatwood. Uh, we'll go to yeah, Heidi in a few fine. moments. Oh, there we go. Heidi's there. Go ahead, Heidi. I'm here, Brian. How you doing? Uh, you know, we were actually just talking a little bit about Terry, Terry Chatwood. Terry has four kids, two boys, two girls, but said it's his six-year-old daughter, Talia, who's really taken most to his career. She loves going to the gym with him, hitting the bags. He said he's been FaceTiming with the kids, and, and it was almost kind of not real to them that he wasn't going to be there on Christmas, but he, of course, said as they get older, they'll know that he did all of this just for them. Brian? Heidi, thank you so much. Yeah, this is something where these fighters, I know that we're all, you know, uh, in on this for the the holiday break, but for the fighters, Sean, you can speak to this. I mean, you're in the bubble, you're you're in shape. You've got to do the hotel room workouts, yeah, and that's all during Christmas. Yeah, buddy, my my dad knows that I will not take a fight around Christmas. This is the time that I share with my family, but you have to take your hand off to guys and acknowledge them for willing to make those types of sacrifices. You see a guy like Chatwood in the ring, he doesn't have that much experience, but he understands sacrifice. He's been through the fire in a lot of other ways, and that's why he can come in the ring and, and put up a good fight against somebody like Butev. He's actually having a pretty decent round, to tell you the truth. Uh, now, you know, uh, Butev has landed a, a right hand and a left hook, you know, somewhat, uh, uh, you know, earlier in the, in the round. But uh, Chatwood, if he keeps boxing and moving, like, he might get the attention of the judges that might give him uh, a, a round for performing the way he should be, which he's doing. Oh, we know that happens. You know, yeah. when you're the taller, longer guy, and you're and somebody is able to get up on you, you get that round to the guy who's who you feel has been right. more effective. Final seconds, round number two. Good work by Terry Chatwood against Rajon Butayev. Champion Sean Porter with us ringside. Lennox Lewis has the night off. Heidi Andrew, Marcus Viegas with us as well. And a look at Rajab Butayev. You know, Sean, I mean, you, you just look at Butayev. I mean, he's a hard man. What type of hay do you think he can make in the welterweight division? That's your division, and which is, of course, filled with stars. Well, I'll start with this fight. I think, first off, we're going to see him start to increase his, his activity round by round and try to break down Chatwood. And I think that that's what he would bring to any of the top fighters in the game right now at the Westweight division. A guy who's strong, going to stay in there and try to break you down over the course of a 12, 10, 12 round fight. 
Yeah, yeah, welterweights is, you're asking a lot. I mean, even to break yeah. into the top 10. Most yeah. divisions, there's, you know, get around 9 or 10, you're like, oh, wait a second, that guy's not that good, that guy, but not welterweight, not 147. Big, big, good uh, hook there by Butayev. Yeah, big uh, leaping left hook right there from right. Butayev. Falls it up with the right hand, comes back with a hook as well, moving in, and it digs into the body of chat with good uppercut. That landed as well. It looks like Butev is making a decision that he brought there. Yeah. Yeah. And down goes Chatwood. Hard shot, Chatwood. Oh. He's rolling out of the ring. Oh. He's not getting up. Six, that's it. Nine, seven, seven, eight, nine. That goes to show you how bad over. these hurt. Yeah. Those liver shots. Yeah. People just Chatwood in tremendous pain, and this fight is over. Yeah. Rajab Butev. Picked up the intensity yeah. and ended it with a body shot. Well, he probably got the word in the corner after the second round. You may have lost that second round or made it closer than you should have. And they told him to step on the gas, and he came out. What the heck did he just put on his head? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. That is uh, ceremonial out of uh, Kasavyurt. Oh, is that right? Dagestan, okay. Russia. Okay. I, so, I say, uh, just hold your tongue. We'll figure it out yeah, at some yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. We figure it out. <laughs> I stopped that. What the heck? Uh, <laughs> but, but Brian, I got to tell you, that liver shot, and we talked about it before the fight, the kid's got a really strong left hand. Yeah. And, you know, uh, Chadwell was doing pretty good. He was uh, at least trying to keep the distance and outbox him and make some points here. But he, he finally got nailed with that, that double hook. Listen, um, that body shot right there, left hook to the body, it's debilitating, and that is a punch that, like, everybody thinks that, oh, it's just yeah. a body shot. It's one of those punches that you never see it coming. There, there Big was left that lead right left there. hand right and there. And guess what? He okay. set it up with that punch That's it. because he comes back to it again. Right. Here's another big hook. And now he's going to drop down. Another right one right there. That was there. the one. Yeah, exactly. Caught him by surprise. And that's you the punch, man. The full, the, yeah, showing the full attack, right? Yeah. I mean, they have to love the way he just upped the intensity. Absolutely. There. I mean, I was saying that as the round began, you, you should expect him to up his activity. Yeah. But the thing is, again, you talk about the education of the fighter. Head and body yeah. is how he got him out. That's right. And it also goes to show you how effective a body punch can yeah, be. buddy. Because, you you know, a lot of guys can take that head shot. I'm out here feeling for him. Trust right me. Before the third <laughs> round, but a knockout shot by Raja Buteyev. Inside the used to be the Shrine Auditorium, built in uh, just next door in 1926. Uh, this is the Expo Center, where we have our fights. No crowd this evening, but world-class competition. And we saw a bit of world-class here tonight. Rajab Butayev, not just what he did, but the way he did it, taking out Terry Chatwood, who was very game in this fight. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a time of one minute, one second in round number three. Our referee in charge, Jerry Cantu, reaches the count of ten. He is the winner by way of knockout and still undefeated, Rudzab, no mercy, Butaye. Yeah, it was a brutal end uh, to this fight. He jumps to 13-0, ten wins by knockout. Again, he had a loss overturned with his opponent. Alexander Besputin failed his drug test, but Sean, Joe, uh, the way he did it, Sean, I, 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 classy, brutal, but classy the way he was able to finish off his opponent tonight. Absolutely. I mean, uh, Joe and I were just talking about it, going to the head and the body, the variety of punches that he came with. And listen, I'll tell you about that punch right there, when it's landing in the right spot, 15, 20 seconds to recover, 30 ain't seconds ain't to enough. recover, <laughs> 10 seconds, not enough. You can't beat the count, but once you get up, you're like, ah, I can keep going. It's too late. Yeah, no. Way too late. He, look, he was down there for a good 30 seconds yeah. minimum. Yeah. Um, look, it, 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 it's it's hard to quantify really how bad those can make you feel. Those yeah. body you got to you got to feel one. You got to right. feel one. So, but it was a great knockout by uh, Butev. And he, look, he's going places, Sean. Don't you think? He's he's I'm, powerful. Yeah. I mean, and take a look at the percentage. 46 yeah, percent. I mean, you're not shooting too bad at 46 percent. No. And and Chadwood came in shape. He came with a game plan. Yeah. He tried his best. He yeah. kept his hands up good, maybe a little too high. And that's yeah. how that body sh yeah. uh, uh, shot snuck in there. But I, You know, yeah. I think when the fight started, I, something like that, I think it was a matter of time is what we were kind of alluding yeah. to. Yeah. And, you know, I don't think we expected it that soon or for it to be that punch, but it was beautiful. Yeah, it really beautiful was. Way to end it really it. was.